Let's go. Which of these objects is a bird? If you guessed all of them, you are correct. How did you know that just by looking at them? I bet the wings, bill, and tail on each one gave it away, right? These are some properties or characteristics that all birds have in common. You likely have never seen a bird without these traits because these are the things that define the bird class. They help you tell a bird apart from something like a dog. So all birds share certain characteristics like bill, wings, tail, and feathers. But do all feathers of a hummingbird look the same as a flamingo or a duck? They don't. Actually, all of these traits, including feather color, are also variables, which means they can vary or change between classes of bird. It can even vary between individual birds of the same class. How? We can think about this flamingo as an individual object. It is definitely a bird, and the bird class blueprint says it needs to have feathers. But the blueprint does not say what color those feathers must be. A feather from this single flamingo is completely independent from all the other bird feathers out there. If it decides to dye its feathers green, it's not like every flamingo will suddenly turn green. All of its variables belong to only itself. Same with any other bird. In coding, when there is a variable, like feather color, that is attached to an object, like a flamingo, it is called a property. I mentioned the word variable. Do you remember what it means? In code, a variable is like a container that stores information called a value. Here, the feather variable stores a value, green. So, we call the feather property value green as well. What do you think the feather property for the other flamingo is? You got it, pink. Properties are super helpful when making and playing games for a couple reasons. First, property values can be changed. Let's look at Blue Blaster for an example. In Bug World, increasing the value of the strength property for a Blue Blaster like this does not automatically increase the strength of any other Blue Blaster too. Properties allow you to change a single object without it causing a change in any other object. Second, property values affect how an object behaves. Pinwheel has this example for us. Pinwheel has a range property. Changing the value of Pinwheel's range property from four to five, like this, will change the object's behavior. Its wind will now reach slimes that are further away. In Bug World, you can change the property values to power up individual tower objects to defend against more dangerous slimes. So let's review. A property is a variable when it's attached to an object. Properties define the characteristics of an object and can be changed without affecting any other objects in the program. Have you tried changing the tower properties in Bug World to stop the slimes? Here's how. Gather the fur babies to collect points. Click directly on a tower object. This is the property button and means you have enough points to change the tower's property value. Choose the property you want to modify. Here, I choose Blue Blaster's strength property. Decide by how much you want to increase the property value. I will increase it from one to two. This Blue Blaster now defends with two blasts instead of one. Goodbye, slimes. Now it's your turn to try it out yourself. Let's go!